Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 134. And it is also the third whiskey in this series that I'm doing on 10 year old single malt. And the good news is that because of a request that I've received, I'm also including the Glen Grant 10 year old single malt. So now this series contains five single malts that I'm doing 10 year old, of which this one, the Springbank 10 year old, is the third one. So I've already reviewed and given some food pairing recommendations on the first one that I did, the Highlands Park 10 year old Viking Scars and the DYC Spanish single malt, single malt from Spain. And today we're doing the Springbank. Springbank Distillery, of course, founded in 1828. Uh, it's owned by Springbank Distillers, part of the J&A Mitchell Group. And it is situated in the southern Kintyre Peninsula, or Campbelltown, of Scotland. So we've got the lowlands and the highlands and the Speyside area. And then way down here below... Uh, that is the southern Kintyre Peninsula or Campbelltown. And there you can see the Springbank Distillery. There we've got Isla and Arran and Jura Islands. Very well-known whiskey destinations. And uh, I'll also have a picture for you just to see what it looks like. That is the Springbank Distillery right there. And some of the pot stills and the malting floors at Springbank Distillery. Today's whiskey, the Springbank 10 year old. There we go, Springbank 10 year old, very well known. Bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, 75 centiliter bottle. And um, Non-chill filtered, no coloring added, Springbank 10 year old. This is the gift box, very straightforward gift box, no, not much information on the gift box. It is lightly peated, they use peat around, peated, uh, malted barley peated to uh, almost 10 parts per million. But the interesting thing is this single malt is distilled two and a half times. So they distill the whole batch and then for a second run they distill only half the batch and then for the third run they distill everything again. So all in all two and a half times distilled, mostly matured in ex-bourbon and a little bit of ex-sherry cask maturation. So let's see what this single malt from Springbank has for us today. We have got a autumn color, autumn gold color. There we go. And I think the legs are forming there on the glass. Autumn gold color, 46%. And the soft, the very soft peat smoke is immediately available on the nose. Some sweet vanilla and toffee. Honey and sweet malt. Mm. It is so inviting, you just want to take a sip immediately. I need to keep myself back. Slight medicinal note. But citrus and pear and pastry as well on this beautiful nose of this Springbank 10 year old single malt whiskey. Oh, this can be one of my favorites. Most definitely. It is quite full bodied for a 10 year old. It's quite rich. The soft smoke and the sweet vanilla. Mm, the fruity notes. 
some toasted oak, a little bit of saltiness. As I'm sitting here, the sort of flavors are just revealing themselves. Some honey becoming evident now. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Mm, I'll have to take another. A second sip just to confirm. A lovely oily mouthfeel and I must say very well balanced slight bitter notes just to balance the sweet notes with a long finish a long finish with marzipan I'm, I'm getting marzipan on this finish a little bit of honeyed pepper on the finish as well 46 percent so I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of water to see if it changes, maybe it opens up this drum a little bit more. As I'm sitting here, it's almost as if this whiskey takes you on a journey of discovery, just to see the effect of the water there. All right, on the nose after the water, sweet cotton candy or candy floss with the salted sea air. Candy floss with salted sea air and light peat smoke on the nose. Mm. This is so well integrated. This is so velvety. This is so balanced on the palate. Really wonderful. I'm thinking what would my summary be? And I'm thinking of the sweet cotton candy with the salted sea air and the whiff of smoke. Just a light whiff of smoke. Maybe it's something like sweet and salty with a with a whiff of smoke. That could be a very good summary. But again, I'm coming back to that journey. It's one of those drums that takes you on this, this journey. As you spend time with it, you just... Hmm, Discover new things. The finish is there and something new reveals itself. A very nice whiskey. The cost here in South Africa is quite high. 800 Rand. A normal 10 year old can be around 400 Rand. So it's quite costly here. I believe in the UK it's around 40 pounds and in the US around 55 dollars. So that is the price. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack and this is always what makes me exciting, whiskey and food pairing. I would recommend that you connect with the sweet vanilla flavors in this whiskey or the saltiness or the marzipan that I have picked up or the honey even. So chocolate covered marzipan can work well. Sea salted chocolate can work well. Vanilla fudge will connect with the vanilla. Salted caramel can connect with both the vanilla, honey and the salted flavors. Pardon me. But for today I have chosen Chevin. Chevin wrapped in pancetta. Pancetta is of course lightly smoked bacon strips. Maybe you can see it easier there. And Chevin is goat's milk cheese. So I have I've cut a small piece just so that I can handle it on camera. Let me see if I can get it there. There we go. So you can see the lightly smoked cured bacon with the goat's cheese. Goat's milk cheese in the center. This goat's milk cheese is, is typically has a very light citrus note in its flavor profile. So I'm going to see if this can connect with the creaminess, the richness and the slight saltiness in this whiskey. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful.
as I taste this, as I experience this, my mind is going more, 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 more. If that is what my mind is saying, then this really works. Never done this before. Shevin wrapped in pancetta. Sounds very professional, but it's really working well. Thank you for joining me on this fantastic adventure. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for the, I think it's the fourth one in this series, 10 year old single malts. And at the end, I'm going to do a summary video, very short summary video, when I will, of course, reveal my personal favorite, my pick, my number one pick in this series. Until then, slant it.